Hello guys, and in this video I will show you how to change the the name of an SQL Server uh, instance, this name. Um, when you connect to uh, SQL Server you have to put uh, this name. Actually, um, when you use it in a connection string, you have to to insert this name in the connection string. I want um, um, a friendly name for for it instead of this name, something like my oops my friend friendly name something like that um, so let's see how to do that um, first thing uh, we must open the SQL server manager tool uh, it's located in this path and is called SQL server manager and it has a number and dot msc so windows r c windows okay i have to uh, let's try the 14 and it gives me uh, an error let's try the 13 instead I have two files I don't know why but yes okay this is SQL Server Configuration Manager um, um, let me show the second thing uh, we must do is enable TCP uh, in SQL Server Network Configuration Protocols for uh, SQL Express in my case I have X SQL Express installed um, we going to set uh, TCP IP enabled oops sorry enable and it shows uh, a warning saying is that says any change made will be saved however they will not take effect until the server is stopped and restart okay so um, let me show why why we must restart the the server uh, if we go to the properties of TCP IP uh, under IP addresses we need um, in IP all we need the um, a number for the the port and uh, for now the number is zero okay if we go to the third st step um, restart SQL server services we go to the services and it will open just a second it must open okay it's loading the services we must find oh what's happening here we must find SQL server 
Um, SQL SQL Server Express. It's running. Right button and restart. And as SQL is restarting. Just a second, and almost done, and it restarts. Okay, now we can close this. If we go here to TCP, TCP IP properties and IP address, if we go to IP all, we now have these. Um, Port number 50129. I copy that and let me put it here in a notepad. Mm. Not responding. Okay. Okay. We have this part number. Um, the fourth step, the fourth step is configure uh, GLIS. So we have under SQL native client one one zero configuration, and we have an, uh, another one for thirty two bit versions. Uh, I will set the the two so if we go to the alias new alias and now we give uh, a name my friendly name let me copy this and insert here my friendly name copy the port number for TCP oh, not responding ok and the server name the current server name so we go here to SQL management studio um, in the server properties and we can copy the name of the server here mm. like that so the liar's name is my friendly name the port number is 50129 the protocol is TCP IP and the server is the current server name ok apply ok I will configure the same thing in SQL native client 11.0 configuration for 32-bit uh, let's new players and the server name the layers name is my friendly name and the port number 50129 and the current uh, server name is this apply okay now we can close this and if everything is okay we can disconnect and let me copy this and we can reconnect to my friendly name okay connect 
structure uh, now uh, I have uh, a new name to my SQL server uh, instance uh, I can use this name uh, in a connection string uh, is very very useful when we are uh, working with uh, other people that don't have the same uh, names uh, in the, their servers um, so let's let let's review the steps um, first first step is open SQL server manage manager tool so control Windows R in C Windows sees wo 64 SQL server manager we click OK it will ask if we allow if we say yes and and the second thing to do is enabling the TCP IP it's here in SQL server network configuration protocols for SQL Express in my case and enable this second don't forget that we must get the uh, IP port in IP addresses and under IP all we should have this um, a number for the port but when you uh, set this uh, enabled uh, we must restart SQL server so we go to the services like this open this uh, second in the services we go to the SQL uh, server express in my case right click on the mouse and restart after restarting we should have a number here you copy this uh, insert in a in a file to just to to use after that um, after that you should um, configure the the alias so you go to SQL native client 11.0 configuration and in alias right click new alias and in the new alias you gave the name that you want in alias name port number will be the number that you get the protocol should be TCP IP and the server the actual server's name to get the server name you go to management studio and right click on the server properties and you should have the name here like this you copy the name and you insert it here you say apply and OK um, I don't know if uh, you should always do that but you can configure the same alias in SQL native client 11 uh, configuration for 32 bit uh, the step is the same right click new alias server name uh, alias name sorry the part number TCP and the server okay so uh, okay Council. I hope this uh, this uh, helped somebody. So um, thank you for watching and see ya. Bye.